other duty, I'm called the chef. I was here, I don't know what you are announcing. Mundur ham gil toli. Mundur maajir. Regular meeting scientific, decide we will have a, a journal. Zubair Al-Qasim here is in charge of the journal, and I think he's just about to publish the journal. We have a nice, uh, nice topics in it, and then please, if you got anything, you send it, you got research, cultural, anything you want to write about, just send it to Zach, and you put it on the, uh, the G R G M U. What do you call it? Jim U. Journal of Iraqi Medical, Medical of Union. Iraqi Medical Union. So we have to make it union and association in future. Mm -hmm. it's true. The committee, the external committee, at the moment, as a stat, as you see, myself and Ali Jawad Fauzi. Fauzi Lazen is the vice uh, chairman. Salam Musa secretary, and we got Amr. He is the dynamo of the, the, the union. He makes everything. This this is all his achievement. A great uh, work. And we got Aya Jamal. Thank you very much. Aya, Aya has done a lot of uh, wonderful works, and he, all of us really, except me, they've done a good work. I'm just. <laughs> <doing it. laughs> um, and uh, we have uh, uh, Muhammad Al Saadi. He will, uh, but a uh, uh, cultural. Uh, and we got Aza, a urologist. A urologist. And you could see them. Uh, uh, Ahmed Mushtaq, he was chairing the meeting here, and Zaid Mira was chairing the young part of the meeting. From Iraq, we have Tahseen Hashim, gentleman sitting there, and with his colleague came all the way from Iraq. And we have Rina uh, Shabana and, and Raksha Al, uh, Al Azawi from Sweden. We have Ibad Sabri, who gave a talk, and a plastic surgeon from France. And we have Zahran, who is in our representative in Italy. We have committees. We have, we have uh, the advisory committee, scientific, cultural, account of finance, communication, and each of these committees are we working we haven't really got completely, but they are working in a good way. The wise, three wise men committee to ensure, well, everybody, to ensure we are really going to a democratic way, and no person will come and mess this 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 organization in the future. We have three wise men committee, and those people will ensure that we, the executive committee, follow the democratic rules in everything, in election, in finance, in the grievances, in everything. And those three wise men, have you seen them? Professor Munda Duri, Professor Najib Habubi, and uh, Khaled al Shafi. These will come in the future to order to supervise any election and make sure that it goes in a democratic way. Meeting achievement, we had the first meeting in November last year. Then we had one in March, it was very good meeting, actually attended by similar uh, number like you now. And we have uh, another, uh, uh, sorry, we have one in January that was more discussing the Constitution. And we have a urology specialist. These are the medical we think in the future. We, we will choose a, a, a common subject. Possibly we will talk in the future about diabetes about cardiology, talk about general surgery, about breast surgery. We choose a subject and we bring a speaker to talk about this particular subject to cover every aspect of it. Like what we done in, in July about urology. We covered the stones and we covered the prostate, the benign prostate, and the cancer of the prostate in a good talk. The AGM today, um, Zach working on the in the future, we'll talk. Uh, what we want to do in Iraq? This is what we want to do. Can we do it? And that will come, I think, we by, by coming the, uh, uh, the Iraq Medical Association with us, we, we will cooperate together. Our force will be in a better shape. We will talk in a different voice. We got a new uh, minister in Iraq, and he is happy to work with us and do this project. What we want to do is two things. First, we could take a, a visiting team, they go there to do training. They teach, 
trained doctors, and the other thing we would like to do to make a special secure. I will talk about uh, visiting the team first. Those team is in cooperation, and by the way, I've been talking to uh, Dr. Nubras Al Hamadani. He is uh, chairing the Urology Association in Iraq. Very nice chap. Uh, he's supposed to come today, but unfortunately, I don't know why he went back home. And we possibly may start with the urology. We have a large number of urologists among our uh, union and the association. And he wish, he would like us to go there and start the process teaching and seeing patients and training doctors. So we possibly may start with the uh, urology. Could we treat patients there? This is a bit hairy issue here because considering what's happening in Iraq, if something goes wrong, then uh, doctors or uh, consultant goes from there, operate with these patients, and if there is a complication, he has to pay cost of <laughs> So we have to tie up this and make a agreement with the Minister of Health that doctors go for that and keep patients that are protected. I'm not going to, if anything goes wrong, it's in the Ministry of Health has to sort out this issue. And of course, we agree with the previous minister, hopefully we have in the future, that doctors to be looked after there, and have this program for them to do the work and get the patient for them to see and treat. To do that, we need a committee on this side. We need a committee in Iraq. Tahseen was working with the Minister of Health before, and we, we established a committee in which was properly done. There was a, a notification from the Minister of Health about naming the people of the committee. We had the meetings on Skype between the uh, Minister of Health and here. Uh, that's now, I don't know, Tahseen and Ziklak, they were from off, I'm not sure, but we tried to revive that. We need a committee there, first of all, to ensure the program for those doctors who go there and make sure for the transport, foundation, and other issues. And to have a program for them to spend a week, uh, a working week, and they do what they want to do there. We thought possibly is the medical city is the best place because it's good, central, and could help patients there. The other thing, we got, as a modern time, that we live in, in a modern age where there is a fast communicating uh, network, WhatsApp, Viber, and now we got the Zoom, and all sorts of things. We could use this, these are free, and use them in, in, in a better way. And we thought, I mean, at, in our hospital, we have, uh, every week, we have uh, SMDT, uh, Specialist uh, Medical, uh, multidisciplinary medical team. So we discuss all kinds of cases, and there is screen from University of Leicester, screen from North Hospital, Hospital, and we are in Catherine. Every patient with cancer, we discussed all of us together. There is a radiologist, pathologist, Europe, three, four urologists, to discuss case by case and take decision about the treatment. Why can't we do this? People in Iraq, we have a complex case, they could bring their x-rays, their things, and talk to us about a specialist from this side to advise them what's the best way to do, rather than do a uh, treat patient blindly. Uh, I don't know if this is to be viable, but we are, we are happy to do that. We don't demand it's gonna be done. It's gonna be done. It can be done. We, 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 hopefully, this is one of the things in our, in our mind. So SMDT cases, complex cases discussed between team on this side and team in Iraq to decide what's that, or just to give advice about what the best treatment. We need, of course, to do this. We need volunteers from this side and from the other side. We, need, we, got, we got all of you, lovely people sitting here, we are all specialists in field. And if we have to register about uh, each, each person with a specialty and if you wish to uh, in this sort of activities. I'm sure all of you want to help. And it's a great opportunity if we get this, this sort of uh, registration with the specialties and we start this process. We still haven't heard from, I think it's too early and too much trouble in Iraq, so hopefully in the next few months 
when Jafar uh, Alawi established himself there, and when did we start working with him? That's not all I want to say. Uh, there is one few things, not a lot, the union we talked about, constitution, not much different. I want to talk about membership. The union and with the association, I think we have to have a proper registration, proper membership. Without having membership, the communication would be very difficult because it's loose. But if we have a membership with a proper registry, then communication would be faster. And we decided to have three types of membership. Full membership are for doctors working in the in Europe and registered with a specialist body. Like here in Britain, we have the GMT, General Medical Council. I don't know what they call them in France or Italy. But certainly, no doctor can work here in this country without being registered with the General Medical Council. They check their degree, they check their training, and they check that they are registered as specialists. So these are the members, and these members are or, or eligible to apply to be a member of the executive committee or the three-man uh, three wise committee. And of course, they have the right to do the election as well. Associate members are colleagues who reside in Europe, but have no recognized registration with the local medical committee. Uh, they have the right to vote, and uh, but can't be in the executive committee. They are not registered in GMC. There's no point to be in the, in the committee. And the other, the third, is the affiliated members. It's very little difference, but here we have colleagues from Iraq and medical students. And by the way, the union and the association is not just for doctors, for medical community, which I mean doctors, pharmacists, veterinary, and pharmaceuticals. Subscription for membership, I think we discussed that, and we thought <coughs> possibly make it very little, so it won't be that, it's just nominal, possibly 30, 30 pounds per year, for members, for members, and maybe 20 pounds for associate members. Um, that's all what I have to say, and possibly we will hold uh, Salam Musa is the secretary for the union, and hopefully he will be uh, taking the uh, half of uh, a logbook for uh, name of the members in the future. Any questions before we? finish this meeting. By the way, I am asking a question. <laughs> Do you like this type of meetings where there's cultural and medical and this flavor or you want more cultural medical? No, I think that there will be a year for the development of this way, for the development of في عندنا اطباء رسامين، في عندنا اطباء شعراء، في عندنا اطباء في المجال الطبي. اي ابداع جديد لعراقي في طبيب عراقي في فيكون بالسنه جلسه واحده حتى يستطيع كثير من الناس يجون وخلي تكون في نهايه السنه باعتبار توجد شكل من العطله بحيث ياتي اكثر عدد ممكن من المشاركين. وجهه نظر. Salam. Salam. I mean, I, I think that for the annual general meeting, you know, this is a very balanced meeting that, you know, because we need, you know, uh, the topics is just of interest for, for everybody because we are already holding, you know, uh, throughout the year, we are holding, you know, special, you know, specialty, let us say, educated, you know, conferences, which we did last time. I think we did the virology about the early session, and it was very successful. So, Maybe in between these annual general meetings, we can go for as we agree with this. But I think this type of meeting, you know, with balance between half half like that, I think it, it, it is of interest to everybody, and I think everybody is enjoying that. I don't know, but that is what I got, you know, when, when I talk, you know, with the, our colleagues outside, and maybe that one is will make you know the things really you know look uh, nice rather than something yeah. you know tough and dry. 
Absolutely right. We have, in fact, this is we call Zaid Mirror. What's Zaid? Zaid is here. Is there? He's the youngest among us, and he's heading the young. He's heading the uh, apart from Justin sitting there. Zaid is the youngest uh, among us, and he's heading the young doctor committee, and that's including uh, career uh, advice and whatever is possible to help them. Their career. Of course, we need to come here to this meeting because they are the grassroots for the future. We want to establish it, make it strong, absolute, and then hand it to the new generation. Then they go take it forward. We can't continue forever. One day we have to stop it to the new generation. So we need, please, if you if you got any young people, any young doctors or yeah, uh, come here. Yeah, Royal College. Yeah. Who is the Good point. The Royal College. We have Dr. Ali Jawad Al who is one of the head of the Royal Royal College of Physicians, London. واللقاءات مالتنا الحقيقة أغلبها يعني هي كرديتد باي ذا سي بي دي ديبارتمنتس ان ذا فيدرال رويال كولجز في يو كي فعندنا هاي اللينك الان احنا حريصين طبعا على الاديوكيشن ثانك يو ثانك يو بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اسف قصيت الان
تحسين تكون هكذا يعني الرصاص لديهم الرغبه بان يجيء الى العراق ل يعني اجراء عمليات او معالجه او يعني هكذا واحنا ان شاء الله يعني سيكون يعني تعاون بيني وبين دكتور تحسين والمحافظه ومجلس المحافظه من اجل يعني تقديم المساعده قدر الامكان للمواطن العراقي شكرا جزيلا Thank you very much.